Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sade. And as you guys have seen, we're going to be doing an August recap slash September planning. Um, so yeah, I'm back onto the planning wagon uh, because I feel like honestly, it just gives me something to hold on to during the month and to go back to. And also, it's fun. It's a fun video to actually do. It's a fun thing to plan, even if I may, may or may not follow exactly what I plan, but it's still fun to plan occasionally. So yeah, we're going to be planning for the last month in the quarter three. We're about to enter quarter four and I honestly can't tell you what I have done this month this year and actually this actually helps me to actually like see what I've actually done because at the end of the month obviously I like have a checklist of things that I like um tick off and all of that so it kind of helps me to see that okay I've actually not not done anything this year so yeah we're going to go ahead and plan for the month of September and then we're going to do a recap um of the month of August so let's get right into the video don't forget to give a thumbs up subscribe to the channel turn on your post notifications and share with your friends and family and let's get right into it yeah hi disclaimer my voice sounds weird I have a cold sorry I don't have a cold I have I'm treating malaria okay <laughs> so that's why my voice is gone it like yo I said yesterday night my voice was gone last night like it's actually sounding better like I was in so much pain but thankfully I can talk now and I know I'm going to like regret this whole thing that I'm doing here which is deciding to like talk because usually I don't talk this much but like yeah have like talking now is actually going to affect my voice later on so whatever progress I've made I'm not resting my book of course is obviously going to come back to slap me in the face but that is the sacrifice I'm going to make for you guys so please 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 share my video like my video and subscribe to the channel thank you Okay, so for June and July, I didn't plan anything. So I'm going to be giving you guys the order in which this video is going to go. So we're going to first of all have our mid-year recaps. Um, I'm also going to be doing a refresh of my goals, which is like the changes I'm going to be making to my dream board. And then we're going to go into our September planning. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to be sharing my favorites for the months of June, July, August, because those are the months that I didn't do. Um, if you do share my favorites with you guys, so I'm not going to like you know how previously I would actually answer some questions about the month, like what I accomplished this month, but like because I wasn't keeping track, I can't necessarily stay for a certain. Um, so yeah, um, but I would just touch on some stuff that I actually accomplished. So let's get right into it. Um, the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be recapping on the things that um have happened um from the beginning of the year to now. Um, first of all, the biggest thing that I think that I have done this year was finish my NYSC. If you're not Nigerian, there's this particular scheme, a program that each, every graduate has to um, embark on um, prior to the, reaching the age of 30. So if, you're, if you graduate after you're 30 years old, obviously you can't do this program. That's your bachelor's actually. So it's called the National Youth Service Corps. Like if you are new to this idea, if you've never heard me speak on this, go up to this playlist. I have a playlist talking about everything that happened during my NYSC, my vlog, showing you guys what we have a camp that we go for three weeks and then we come back and we actually do like the actual NYSC program where you have to work um for a year which is actually a very good thing that i i feel like it is because it actually helps people who naturally wouldn't have gotten a job immediately after school to actually get some work experience which also obviously help them you know when their job on team subsequently so that's the first and major thing that i feel like i accomplished this year the second thing that i accomplished this year was to start and finish a basic fashion design course so if you've also been on my channel um, you would know about this if you're new on my channel you would not know about this i'm going to be linking some videos check the description obviously as well for some links to some of the videos that i did um stay tuned this month you guys will be seeing um my project um vlogs so i mean i did a vlog so that's going to be coming out this month so stay tuned for those videos so yeah i did a three-month basic fashion designing course and it was amazing um i would go in i think i want to do a video where i actually talk about it and like compare it to like the other things what I expected, like where my expectations fell short and where they exceeded the grew, you know. So yeah, I'm going to talk about that if you guys want me to talk about that. So let me know in the comment section, interact with my videos, please. Okay, so the third thing, which actually should be the second thing that I accomplished if I didn't in the rule of like how it happened, but also it's like a major, major thing for me was actually getting my filming lights, one of which I'm using right now to film this video, my LED 600, and I also got a 4 blade bulb softbox, okay? So like you guys know, for the past like maybe two years, I've had a lighting, I've had a ring light actually on my mood board, my dream board for the year, and I finally got 
a light, not a ring light, <laughs> because I had to like, um, if you want to know everything about how I decided to get the lights that I got, there's a video on that already, so go ahead and check it, also has an unboxing, where I got it from, all those details, go ahead and check the video out, but yeah, I got my lights finally, which is a major accomplishment for me, because I've been having, I had a list of like things I wanted to get to aid my filming, the first of which was a tripod, which I got in 2020, video will be linked up here, um, and then I got my lights, and then the next thing, is a microphone actually i've got i've tried to get a microphone i've tried uh, but like it's like god does not just just don't want me <laughs> actually i'm good at editing my audio um but like yeah uh, for noise cancellation and all of that i still actually need a microphone so we should keep buying and they, are, they just don't work so if you want to help me with a road mic i will not say no you know so after the microphone obviously the next thing we're going to get is the camera <laughs> God is our strength because the way inflation is going, let's just pray that next year's election, like it does not even yell really because the money for the camera, initially when I was planning to save, I think when I initially was looking at the camera, I saw a camera for 150 and I was like, okay, that's not really too bad. I can actually save that, right? Oh, well, now that camera is, is, is not more than 300. <laughs> the money has doubled in price. So like, yeah, it's really, really hard to save for a gadget nowadays in Nigeria, but like we're trying and we'll get there eventually. Um, and then... There's one other major thing that happened, but this one, I am, I'm so sorry, I can't say it. Oh, I'm so sorry, I can't say it. Like, I'm going to say it at the end of the year. I promise you guys. I keep saying this. I keep, I keep dropping, like, this hint. That's how I'm smiling. My smile just got big. <laughs> My smile just got big. It's like a major thing to me. But, like, I'm sure that like, when I share it, some people will actually be like, okay, that's what you've been hiding since. Well, like, yeah, it's important to me. So, like, yeah, allow me to hide my secrets in peace. Let me enjoy it for, like, the, the how many months has it been? Like, okay, there was one thing that happened in January, there was one that happened in July, in June, one happened in July, and then one happened this month. Oh my gosh. Okay, no, two happened this month, I think. June and then August. So yeah, basically, this whole month, this whole year has been amazing. I've had, oh my gosh, you guys, when I share this news, you must be happy for me. If you're not happy for me, you're a hater. <laughs> I'm so sorry to say, but like, yeah, you have to be happy, you have to be happy for me because this particular thing is what pushes me to actually create content, you know, so just stay tuned, I'll share that at the end of the year. If I don't share it, people should beat me. <laughs> I will not forget, I promise. So yeah, that is it for our uh, media recap. Those are kind of like the things that I've majorly accomplished. Okay, so my laptop has decided to give me a problem. <laughs> so what I did instead was to write out everything that I have here. So we're going to just be talking from the book, okay? Then when I get on my laptop, you guys see what I'm doing. So the first part, you guys know, we always have a health and fitness um, section. That's the first section. So I want to gain some weight, healthy weight. Um, I don't think I'm, I, I'm, I've not weighed myself. It's not like, it's not based on skill. It's like, I just don't want to be so, you know, like skinny. I'm not skinny. There are people that are skinny than me. But like, I just want to have weight. Like, I want to look like those thick bodies. <laughs> I want to be a thick body as well. I want to look good. You know, like, I don't know. I don't... Like, I just want to have a little bit of body on <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. But, like, yeah, I just want to have, like, a little bit of extra, you know. Um, so, like, yeah, the plan for that, to achieve that, is to actually eat. Because I don't eat. So I want to actually try and put in effort into eating three times a day. That's a, that's a lot for coming from somebody that sometimes doesn't even eat at all. So three times is actually a lot. Um, and I know that a key thing to having and adding weight is to have money to be able to buy food. Like it's very important to just add weight, add weight, add weight. Like you need to be eating like a fool and not buying food like snacks. And then I want to try obviously more recipes. I've tried a lot of recipes, like I said. Um, check my vlogs if you've not seen any of my recipes that I've tried for the first time. They, I always put them in my vlogs. You not see them. But like in the vlog, I can be like, oh, I try, I'm going to be trying this recipe. So I want to try a lot more recipes, you know, like have a versatile like list of things to eat. Um, also to drink water. Busola doesn't drink water. Busola doesn't drink water. Even if I don't, like it's not even a thing of, oh, I take soft drinks. I've actually cut down on my soft drink eating. But like, even if I don't drink soft drink, I will not drink water sometimes. So it's actually bad. I'm actually getting better. It's rare because I'm not feeling fine. I need to be hydrated even though my throat hurts. So I've been drinking water for like a few days now. So that's actually good. But I want to like try. I'm going to start. Like when I say this number now, you will be like, that's not even a lot. But like for starting from zero, 
what I'm saying is actually a lot. So I want to try and drink at least one liter of water every day. I think they normally people normally say drink five liters or two liters, maybe three. Liters. I don't know, but like yeah, I'm going to start with one liter of water. Some days I actually drink more than that. Some days I don't drink at all. I want to make it a thing where I actually drink one liter every single day. Okay, so that is it for my health and fitness yes. goals. So going into social goals. Okay, so this is the one where it's like error. Uh, okay, so the first thing is that I want to make more friends in my city. Um, I I don't go out, which I want to rectify in the coming year. I want to be like a person that goes out. I want to do a lot of outing vlogs. I want to show you guys around Port Harcourt more if I've not relocated by then. You know, people are telling me to come to Lagos. I don't know if I'm going to, like, if I have money, I would obviously be going to Lagos frequently to see my friends, but I don't. So, like, yeah, I want to actually make friends in my city so that I can actually have, like, diverse content to show you guys. So, yeah, that is one major goal I want to accomplish before the end of the year i want to make at least my i don't want it to be like a thing of oh my church friends like i want to see them on sundays you know i want it to sound like if i see you in church i want to be able to see you outside church let it not be that over just church friends like let's be able to hang out outside of church you know so like i want to make at least three friends um where i make them from is not a matter the matter is that we are friends that are hanging out outside of the institution where we meet okay so yeah that's the first thing the next thing is make youtube friends okay i want to have youtube content creator friends um who i can share ideas with also this was something that somebody actually told me to do um i'll be talking more about my birthday plans the more my birthday approaches the closer i get i'm having like a lot of plans so i might do a thing where i ask you guys to like give me feedback um the plan basically was to do something for myself because i don't have any friends to go out with you know um so that was the plan that I was going to do something myself i'll go out myself or like stay at home and just like order stuff in but somebody actually made me promise <laughs> to make friends so that I can have a birthday out in with friends. So that is why friends is even on the list, you understand? So I going to try to have like people that I can actually plan a birthday with and have a birthday out in. So it might not be anything serious, like it might just be us going to the park. It might not happen. Let me never give you guys hope. But like yeah, we're going to try to do it. Okay, um, next we have personal goals and I have um do better with hygiene and cleanliness um basically cleanliness my room is always in a state of this disarray <laughs> so we scatter because when i look for clothes i scatter everything so like yeah, i want to like, get more tidy um in that sense and also i want to go like i said it from the beginning of the year that i wanted to do this journaling self-reflection and manifestation i actually want to be serious about it so please keep me your prayers because <laughs> i actually want to actually I also want to actually, you know, how many times you say actually this sentence? But yeah, I'm actually getting the migraine already. I'm really tired, so I need to go. Financial, hmm, get a job. <laughs> Do you know, it's funny because it's like, it's not like I'm actually not trying. I am trying. The amount of places, it shows, like I told my friend yesterday in church, I was like, every single company in Porta in Nigeria probably already have my CV. I'm not even kidding. Like the places that I've sent CV to, the applications I've done, online applications, the one that's like, the one you get feedback that, oh, thank you for your, your application. The ones that you even get thank you for your application. I have applied. I have done tests. I am tired. See, the job market, and it's not like they're not jobs. This is why just wicked. <laughs> oh, they only see just wicked. Like you see some jobs and it's actually good. And then you look at the pay and they're like 50,000. You mad. And I'll be coming from like a distance that maybe I'll be paying 500 naira transport per day. What's that going? How much is going to remain after I pay transport? That's a joke. So yeah, and I also want to try and start a side hustle. We'll still see about that. I've been saying that for a few years now. Nothing has come up, but we'll see about that. Okay. Going into now, this is career, um, career. So career part. I'm talking about my social media. So I want to grow my social media following, following, grow my social media following across the board. By I'm going to reduce this number. Okay, to six. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I thought that, I, I thought that was. <laughs> I thought what I wrote was grow by six k. It means grow to six k. So currently, if I complete all my followers on all my social media platforms, I should have roughly four thousand seven hundred subscribers across the board in some in like in in uh estimation like as an estimate okay so i want to reach 6k across the board so basically yeah so basically i want to post two times a week on this is my schedule you guys are going to see a video more on this 
you know, the YouTube part of everything. But I want to post two times a week on white and on YouTube. Um, I want to reach 1.5k subscribers by the end of the year. Okay. So we're going to talk about the things that actually planned for September. So for my health for September, I said start and maintain a workout routine. Um, this is something that I want. I hope. I hope. I hope. I hope. I hope to do. Um, our light situation is bad now. So like, I was thinking of going to the gym. Um, to the but, but like, yeah, the thing is, the gym that we have is a cardio based gym. So there's a treadmill. There are bikes. Um, so it's like it's a like cardio stuff, you know. So there's not really weightlifting, which is what I actually want to do. But like that's what I've been telling myself since the beginning of the year that I want to lift weights. But like yeah, I think I should actually just start with cardio and then I can actually look into getting a gym membership for lifting weights. For social, I have catch up with a friend twice a week. Um so basically like video call or voice call, just like talk and like just kind of like catch up, you know, with one friend. Um reach out to at least one post creator uh, content creator youtube creator whatever um personal we have wake up by 7 a.m and then skipping challenge like i said um financial i want to actually look into being a video editor for other youtubers so like bigger youtubers like for example dina ikweme nello kk post -hackers based youtubers or even outside post it doesn't really matter um so being a video creator for people that like um create content on a larger scale and have like kids or like a job and they don't have time so if you know anybody that's going to be interested in something like that or like just even a business like a social media management thing where i do video editing majorly um not content creation i'm not creating content i'm doing editing because a lot of people actually will be like oh we want a social media manager so like, this is our account and then you're seeing a social media manager is managing all your accounts across all the social media platforms is creating content for all those social media platforms is editing those contents is doing graphics and you're paying the person fifty thousand error that's his that's his that's his wickedness that's his wickedness and that's something that we see actually that happens a lot in nigerian creative community which is very very wrong those roles are for different people those are not the same like those are not roles that should be given to just one person to do for that pay okay so yeah i want to become a video editor for people as a side hustle freelance work um career <laughs> get a job <laughs> the way i wrote to get a job everywhere so, but yeah i will be catching up with you guys for the planning parts and the favorites tomorrow so stay tuned because your girl is tired right now okay okay hi guys welcome to the second part of this particular video it's the next day i was really tired yesterday like i told you guys i was sick and i was like I was feeling it. I was feeling it a lot. Like the, 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 this thing is actually not easy. Okay, and the light in my eyes was actually because me to have a migraine. But thankfully, we're feeling better, kind of this morning. So I came back to complete, complete the video. All right. So we're going to be going into my September plans. Um, I'm currently planning on a notebook, and then I'll just it to my laptop, which is what I find is easier for me. It also helps me to like organize my thoughts before actually putting it into um, Notion. So yeah. I wrote September will be productive, happy, and balanced. Uh, my career priorities for the month are to, um, I want to start looking into schools for my master's. I'm thinking about doing that instead of the job. I'm actually thinking of just simultaneously doing both and seeing which one comes first. I'll take that as God's plan. So if I get an admission first, then okay. If I get a job first, then okay. So yeah, that's the plan. And also, I want to reach out to content creators in Port Harcourt. I think I spoke more on this yesterday already. So I'm not going to go into more details about this. And also, my, my posting schedule is two times a week on YouTube and one time a month. I think I said twice a month on Instagram, okay? So my personal goals for the month are to work out daily with recovery days on Sundays, active recovery days. So rec active recovery means that you're not necessarily, it's like for people like me who, if you take one day off, that's the end, okay? So active recovery basically means like um, doing yoga or like um, stretches and something like cardio, like light cardio or something. It's like you're not pushing yourself too much, but you're also not giving like your body that quote unquote rest. Um, to like think that oh what dumb is this shit okay so the next thing is to show one complete outfit like i told you guys yesterday as well i had that as a thing i want to do so that i don't actually my dad spends money on getting me on like preparing 
or like servicing <laughs> on servicing this machine and like getting a new table so like i really don't want that money to go to waste so i'm trying to get my as much as possible put like pouring out outfits so like i feel him too he will see me like in the next let me call me i'll be making sound with the machine so that's you know i I want this not going to waste, you get me? My sister is also coming back, so that will obviously help me because I'm going to be sewing some outfits for her to take back to school. So, yeah, those will be vlogs that will come out sometime in October or in November, depending on how my content is. I have a lot of content, like I told you guys. Uh, my habit focus for the month is creating a morning routine and also FaceTiming my friends every week. FaceTiming for a friend or somebody, like having a FaceTime conversation with somebody every single week. Um, it's been a while, okay. Yeah, it's actually been a very long while. I've had calls with uh, Morana, um, like, uh, almost every day for like, a, that was like two weeks ago or so, like last week I was off. But like, yeah, like we were calling like almost every single day, like just talking or every two days, just talking for long periods of time about everything and nothing. You know, it was, it was really fun. I love it. So yeah, I want to make that something that I prioritize with even all my friends, like the ones, especially the ones that are not in my city. Which one do you have in your city? <laughs> so yeah, now we're going to be going into my favorites. Okay, my favorites for the month. So my favorite song for June was You Might Not Like Her by Maji Zam. You might be hearing a lot of TikTok music while I'm talking, but like, yeah, that's what I listen to. In July, you guys already know, you've seen the vlog, you've not seen the vlog, go ahead and check it out. My favorite song for July is Kurosa. I want to work with you. Oh my god. Have you guys seen that trend on TikTok where people are like mimicking his um that his live thingy stuff? Yeah, that's actually so I love that song so much. That song has jazz, like if you said in the previous video, that song has something to decide it. Um my favorite song for the month of August is Karma by Summer Walker, which is another TikTok song. The sped up version is the one that's like really popular on TikTok. What's the what's the part that's the one that's on TikTok so? Okay, so going into my TV show, um, TV show for June, I didn't really watch anything in July. I, I didn't really watch anything either. Then in August, I went back to watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine. In August, I think I went from season four to se seven. I mean, season seven now. <laughs> it's just this August that we are in. Um, and then oh, um, I'm blown away season three came out. I watched that as well. I just finished watching the last episode, I think, the first year or so. Um, so yeah, uh, my favorite book for the month of July was the Mistress of Tall Acre. I'm going to put all the pictures on the screen. The Mistress of the Mistress of Tall Acre by Laura France. Um, it's a lovely book. I, I I don't know how to do reviews without giving spoilers. And obviously, it's been a mo few months. It's not still fresh in my head. The in July, my favorite book was After a Fashion by Jen Turano. I loved that book. Um, it's, it's all these uh, arranged marriage, arranged them, um, engagement type books. I love those kind of books. So yeah, and my favorite book for August is My Bravo Ops Iris. <laughs> I'm not going to be talking about that book. So yeah, my favorite memory for June, June 18th, 2022, that particular day I went for a wedding. You guys have seen that wedding vlog. You've not seen it, go and check it out. So basically, you see that after my did behind the scenes, these scenes that I had, that I added at the end of that video. Yeah, that was like my favorite memory for the month of June. Just being able to like talk to people and like, laugh with people and have fun and just joke and you know like have that feeling of like I have like friends or something that was an amazing time for me so yeah because I, I rarely talk to people these days so like any chance I get to talk to people I appreciate it a lot then my favorite memory for July I actually do not have any I went through my screenshots my phone like can I see anything that happened I, I don't know I didn't write anything down so I can't really remember um for August my favorite memory you guys hear about it at the end of the month. <laughs> I think I, I, spoke, I spoke about this thing yesterday. So yeah, you guys hear about it at the end of the year, actually. Then my favorite, this is another thing that I just added. I saw somebody do it. It's your favorite YouTubers this month. Like, who are you binging? Obviously, number one, Sophie. I mean, are we joking? Are we joking to ourselves? So yeah, my number one person, I always binge. I always watch every Sunday. First to comment, first to be there is me, is Sophie. Um, another person that I just recently started watching, like last week or the week before, is Shisom Anidebe. 
I hope I've pronounced that correctly. The channels will be on the screen. She's a mom YouTuber. Um, she's pregnant. She has had a baby actually, but on YouTube she's pregnant. <laughs> so yeah, she gives like um recaps of like her months and everything. Like I do, I love pregnancy content. So seeing a Nigerian YouTuber that actually puts out pregnancy content it makes me really happy. So that's why I love her channel. So that's why I'm giving her a shout out today. Um, so yeah, there are some other YouTubers that actually subscribe to this month. Um, you guys, I'll probably do a video where I talk about uh, my favorite YouTubers or something. But yeah, this is the person I'm going to be shouting out. This is a small YouTuber. I'm obviously back to watching Dima. I used to watch Dima a lot before and Kelechi as well. Um, I don't know. For now, I don't know. Kelechi is because I don't know why. For now, I don't know. I'm just not... <laughs> it's not, it's not suiting me too much. Um, I know we go through stages and that's how we went with Dima also. But Dima actually took a break um, for health reasons and now she's back. So I'm currently obsessed with her vlogs. I was actually watching one of her vlogs before I stood up and said, let me come and film my video finish. Um, so yeah, Dima. And then there's one other person. She's not a Nigerian. Sarah Alexis. She's the one that actually made me interested in doing this planning videos and planning my life and using Notion. So yeah, go ahead and check out her channel. I've talked about her before on this channel. So go ahead and check her out. So yeah, those are my favorites for the month of June, July, and August. I can't wait to do this again in September. I love these videos actually i just love looking back on the month and just like feeling like wow this all these things happened or like this thing yeah so it just makes me feel happy it makes me feel productive like i said yesterday so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video hope you guys liked it don't forget to leave a thumbs up subscribe to the channel turn on your post notifications and share with your friends and family and let me know any video ideas you want me to do in the comment section down below and i'll see you on my next video bye